Hello everyone and hello once again YouTube. This is Mia and I'm back to give you the latest news and updates on blockchain today. Now for this video guys, we'll be talking about the price analysis for our or for the top 10 cryptocurrencies as of the date, right? But before we go there, I would just like to invite you all to join us with this new initiative queue program here. Now guys, Initiative Q is an attempt by XPayPal guys to create a new payment system instead of the existing old credit card system that was designed way back in the 1950s. Now, the system uses its own currency called the Q and to get people to start using the system once it's ready, they are allocating Qs for free to people like you who sign up now. Now, the amount drops later as more and more people join, so it's better for you to join now while it's free and it's still early. Signing up to Initiative Q is completely free, which they will be um, only asking for your name and an email address. There is nothing to lose, but if this payment system becomes a world-leading payment method, your queues can be worth a lot. So guys, if you missed getting Bitcoin 7 years ago, you would not want to miss this one. Now, here is your special limited invite link in the description below. The link shown will stop working once we're out the free invites. So guys, um, click on the link now and don't get left behind on this one. Alright, okay, now let's go to the article about the price analysis for the top 10 cryptocurrencies here. Now, bottoms are formed during market capitulations. After Bitcoin broke below the critical support of $5,900, investors dumped their holdings, fearing a complete loss on investment. For someone who does not believe in the future of cryptocurrencies and who was in it only for making a quick buck, it might be the right thing to do. However, for the others who believe in the story of blockchain and cryptocurrencies, the, cur uh, the current fall offers a great opportunity to invest for the long term. During bottom formula uh, formations, the outlook is always very dire and every bit of news is viewed as negative. Um, one such news was the U.S. Justice Department investigating the probability of Bitcoin manipulation in 2017 using stablecoin Tether. Though we believe that any regulation step to protect retail investors is a long-term positive, the markets did not view it in the same way. After the fall, while naysayers are claiming victory and forecasting a further fall, the bulls see an opportunity to buy for the long term. It is difficult to predict a bottom when the markets are gripped in fear. Hence, we believe it is better to wait for the markets to show signs of stabilization before attempting a buy. The software companies did not vanish after the dot or dot com bubble. The world did not come to an end after the financial crisis of 2007 to 2008. In the same way, this market or this bear market will also pass and the stronger cryptocurrencies will rise and reward investors. Therefore, be patient and let the markets offer us a relatively low risk buying opportunity. Okay, let's start with the first cryptocurrency, which is Bitcoin to USD. Bitcoin nose dived to a low of $4,368.69 on November 20. The fall in the past two days gives the impression of panic selling by investors. Usually, bottoms are formed after such a round of liquidation. Both moving averages have turned down, which is a negative sign. The RIS was hit deeply oversold levels, which suggests that selling has been overdone and a pullback is likely. The bulls might attempt to carry the Bitcoin to USD pair to the downtrend line, which can prove to be a roadblock. 
If the downtrend line is crossed, we expect the bears to offer strong resistance in the zone of $5,450 to $5,700. The next leg down will give us a better insight above the bottom. If the bear slides through $4,368.69, the fall can extend to $4,000 and below it to the major support of $3,500 to $3,000. On the other hand, if the bulls is successfully or the bulls successfully defend $4,368.69, the probability of it being the bottom increases. It is difficult to pinpoint the bottom right away. We can confirm a bottom only in hindsight okay we'll go to the next token here which is xrp to usd ripple has emerged as one of the outperformers during the recent fall it has stretched its lead over ethereum after becoming the second most valuable cryptocurrency in terms of market capitalization the XRP to USD pair is currently finding support between the trend line and $0.40. Both the moving averages remain flat, which points to range bound action in the near term. On the upside, $0.519 and $0.565 will act as resistances. On the downside, if the bear sink price is below $0.40, a fall to $0.37185 and below that to $0.26913 is probable. Though we are relatively bullish on the digital currency, we shall wait for a new buy setup to form before proposing any trade. Ethereum to USD Ethereum extended its fall on November 20 and broke below the support of $136. The RSI has reached deeply oversold levels, which previously resulted in a pullback. Currently, the bulls are attempting to pull back from the $126.20 level, which is likely to face a stiff resistance at $167.32. The downtrending 20-day EMA will also be a difficult hurdle to cross. In the next leg down breaks below $126.20, the Ethereum to USD pair can extend its decline to $110. As the trend is down, we shall wait for a new reliable setup to form before recommending a trade. Here. XLM or Stellar to USD. Stellar broke down of the ascending channel on November 19 and followed it up with another sharp fall the next day. However, the bulls have managed to hold the critical support at $0.184. The current pullback attempts is likely to face a stiff resistance at the support line of the channel and above it at the downtrend line. If the bears sink the stellar to USD pair below the critical support at $0.184, it can slide to the next support at $0.13 and below that to $0.09. Here. EOS to USD. EOS broke below the critical support of $3.8723 and dived to a low of $3.4703 on November 20. In doing so, the RSI dipped into deeply oversold territory that indicates that the selling has been overdone and a pullback is probable. Currently, the bulls are attempting to climb back above the overhead resistance at $3.8723. If successful, the pullback can extend to $4.493, which might again act as a stiff resistance. If the pullback stalls at $4.1778, 
the bears will again attempt to sink the EOS to USD pair below the support at $3.8723. If successful, the decline can extend to the next support at $3. The falling 20-day EMA and the RSI in the oversold territory show that the bears have the upper hand. Litecoin to USD Litecoin dipped to an intraday low of $31.78 on November 20, which was just below our suggested support at $32. The pattern target of a breakdown from the descending triangle is $29.653. We believe the zone between $32 to $29.653 will act as a strong support. However, as the trend is down, any attempt to pull back will face a stiff resistance at the 20-day EMA that is sloping down. Above this, the next major resistance will be in the $47.246 to $49.466 zone. We believe that after such a sharp fall, the Litecoin to USD pair might attempt to form a bottom around current levels. However, the traders should wait for a confirmed bottom and a new buy setup to form before attempting to buy. Cardano to USD Cardano fell in the past two days and overshot our suggested support at $0.043722 and made an intraday low of $0.041572. The RSI has declined deep into the oversold territory, which suggests a pullback is, anal is around the corner. The pullback can carry the Cardano to USD pair to the overhead resistance at $0.060105. However, the trend is down, hence any attempt to recover will face a hurdle at the previous support of $0.060105 and the, at the 20-day EMA which is sloping down. If the next leg down breaks below the support at $0.04152, the fall can stretch to the next lower support of $0.025954. Monero to USD Monero is trying to find support close to the $64.525 level. The RSI has entered deeply oversold levels, which shows that the selling has been incessant. We believe that the bulls will attempt a pullback from the current levels that can carry the digital currency to the overhead resistance at $81. Here. Sorry. The bears are likely to attempt to turn down the Monero to USD pair from $81. If the next down leg breaks $64.525, the fall can extend to $60 and below that to 46 levels or $46 levels. Our bearish view will be invalidated if the bull scale $81 and sustain above it. Currently, there are no bullish patterns that suggest they buy, hence it is best to remain on the sidelines. Tron to USD In the past two days, Tron broke below the two critical supports of $0.01836 and $0.01587681. With the RSI dropping close to 15 on November 20, it shows that the selling has been overdone and a relief rally is likely. In a downtrending market, every previous support acts as a resistance after it is broken down. Hence, we anticipate a stiff resistance at 0 0.015876 and 0 0.0183 dollars. 
If the uh, Tron's USD pair turns down from one of these levels, the bears will attempt to sink the price to the next support at 0 $0.0084447490. On the other hand, if the bulls scale $0.0183 within the next few days, it will confirm that the current fall was a fake breakdown. We shall wait for the trend reversal to happen before suggesting any trade in it. Next is, um, and the last token that we have here is Dash to USD. Dash is currently trading inside a descending channel. It broke below the critical support of $129.58 on November 19 and made a new 52-week low at $98.01 on the next day. It is presently finding support at the bottom of the channel. Now, the bulls might attempt to push prices back above the $129.58 resistance. If successful, the pullback can extend to the upper end of the channel, close to $160. However, as the Dash to USD pair is in a downtrend, we anticipate a strong resistance at $129.58 and at the end and at the 20-day EMA. During the next down move, if the support at $98.01 breaks, the next support is at $75. Traders should wait for the trend to reverse and a bottom to form before initiating any long positions in it. Alright guys, so that was for the price analysis for the top 10 cryptocurrency. So guys, what can you say about this article? Share with us your opinions on our comment section below. Right, guys. Now, all of the information provided in this video is for your news review and education entertainment only and not to be regarded as advices. You see here, we are not financial advisors and we highly recommend that you do your own final research for you to make decisions for yourself. Now, this channel is simply a gathering of the rumors and research available online each day. All right. So that was it for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching and if you like this one, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more updates. This is once again Mia, your daily YouTube broadcaster signing off and I'll see you next time guys. Bye!